What do the components in a circuit do? Oh, <laughs> make it work? <laughs> All right. I, I thought long and hard whether I should even tackle this question in these short five, seven minute videos. But I'm going to try and maybe we'll, we'll make a little bit of headway. So the question comes from Mike in Yorkshire, England, where I suppose the pudding comes from, right? Yorkshire, Yorkshire pudding. Well, I don't even know what that is, but anyway, it's probably some, it's British. So they probably have blood and horrible things in it. Nothing personal, but you guys eat some weird shit. I, you know, sorry. Uh, I've been there. <laughs> Look at this meat pie or haggis or whatever. All right, basic question. Okay. I know nothing much about electronics. I have no idea what the functions of the electronic components are in the journey from music to energy to speakers and back to music again. I'd love to hear an idiot's guide. Well, you came to the right person. <laughs> uh, to what happens to the music from the microphone into the world of circuit boards and components and the reemergence into sound through crossovers to vibrating speakers. So what components like transistors and all that are used and what's their role and what are they in the sequence uh, inside the bits of equipment? This is probably a bigger question than I imagine. Yes. So the idiot's guide is enough for now. Thanks, Mike. All right. So now that I've lambasted your country's uh, cuisine, there, there's some good stuff too. Where was it? I think I was in my son went somewhere in the Lake District to school. And I believe it was it, somewhere out there that we had a deep fried Snickers bar. Oh, God. I think my stomach is still reeling from that. Let's just talk amplification for a moment. So the idea behind a circuit is to take a little signal and turn it into a bigger signal, right? So we've got let's say we have a turntable and a phono cartridge or a microphone or anything as far as a source, right? And what comes out of that is a little teeny signal. So let's take a phono cartridge. We'll, we'll try and make that. Um, no, let's do a microphone because phono cartridges have RIAA curves and they have to have EQ and all that stuff. Let's do a microphone. And a microphone is, depending on the kind of microphone, is simply a diaphragm that moves back and forth. And in response to that movement through either the change in capacitance or moving around little grains of carbon or moving farther and uh, closer to a magnet, we create an electrical signal. Okay, so we can talk about that later, but just trust me, there's a little wiggle. So when I talk, that my moving air pressure is converted to an electrical voltage. And, and we can talk about how that's done in another video. So now I have a tiny little voltage and now I want to play it on a loudspeaker. So to do that, I need a big voltage. So the first thing we're going to need to know is within this circuit is we need an amplifier. We need to take the little signal and make it into a big signal. And for that, we're going to use a transistor. So let's see if I can. Now this is going to be hard because I can't so much see what I'm doing here. And he don't know what he's doing. So if you can't see it. All right. I don't know if I can draw and do this at the same time. Can you see that? Yep. All right. Um, so let's draw a transistor. Okay. So here. Let's see, that, I do have a little monitor here. So that'd be a transistor. And here is what's called the base of the transistor. That's the gazinta. This is where the signal goes in. And this, this is a collector. And that's where the, the voltage, the, our battery, our big, that's our plus battery. So we got a big old battery here, right? Let's see, I'm gonna draw a battery. And this is the minus or ground. Okay, so, damn, it's hard to do when, in reverse uh, when I'm looking at the monitor. Um, that's the battery, and that's the plus of the battery, and that's the minus of the battery, okay? And so our little microphone goes in here, and, and you know, a transistor is just this little thing. It's just this little silver black 
thing with three legs coming out of it. And one leg is this collector, and another leg is this emitter, and another leg is this base. And so we put our little signal in here. Now, up here, we add some resistors, okay? It's easy here when you do it, because they're just wiggles. Um, and this transistor is a valve, okay? So think of a water valve. As I turn the water, uh, what is it? Righty tighty, lefty loosey, right? Okay, so as I turn the water valve up, more water comes through, and as I turn it down, less water comes through the faucet. So think of this, this battery here is holding all the, all the water pressure, right? So I've got all this pressure, and it, it wants to go through here. It wants to travel through here, but I've got a valve that's stopping it. Now, every time the little microphone wiggles up, okay, on this base, it turns the valve on a little bit and lets the water flow through here. But there's a lot of water compared here, compared to the very little bit of water, if we use the same analogy, here. So as I wiggle this a little bit, this wiggles a lot. And that, that amount is dependent on the value of these two resistors, um, which we can, it's not important. Um, and so then right here, this is very simple, right here is my output. And if I were, now don't take this too literally, you guys go all nuts on me, but if I were to take this and hook it up to my loudspeaker, so that one end of my loudspeaker was on the, the bottom end of the battery, and the top end of my loudspeaker was here, I would get music out of it. Now there's other things like there's DC, and that they don't like DC, and I'm going to have to put a capacitor there. But that that is the basis of what is going on in these circuits. You have these valves, whether they be tube valves or solid state valves, i.e. transistors. We put little wiggles in, which turns the valve, which is this valve here, and it lets big amounts of electricity in that is then transferred over to via wire to your speaker, and, uh, and, and the woofer moves in and out, and we hear sound. So as I talk into the microphone, bop, 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 then that little signal goes, and we hear it through all these transistors. So that's the smallest, briefest little way that I can imagine to tell you how that works. I hope that helps. Okay. Enjoy your Yorkshire pudding. Have fun, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye. Thank you.